Welcome back to the Petty Network, JSN Unfiltered. And um, I want to talk about this Kevin Durant responding to James Worthy um, comments on the NBA today. And maybe I'm the guy who is, you know, this get off my lawn old guy. Uh, don't want things to change. Go to the restaurant. Want the same meal. You change anything different, then we're going to have a problem. Maybe that's me. I kind of feel like that with the NBA. It's hard to watch the NBA. Now, don't get me wrong. The playoffs right now are really good, especially with LeBron James. LeBron James not in the NBA playoffs, but I digress. I want to respond to this, though, because there's something about older people. Older people stuck in their ways. Uh, they don't want to get up with technology. They're really bad with social media and computers and um, you know if anybody can understand this if your parents or grandparents still uh, let's say they watch your kids they watch your kids and they're not up to technology they're not they're not putting on the, the, the tops to the baby bottle and they don't know how to use the what dishwasher but you just got to let them talk and they they're not going to take or retain new information Now, according to the article, Los Angeles Lakers' James Worthy had a harsh critique of the modern NBA in the recent interview. Um, Brooklyn Nets star Kevin Durant apparently took notice as well. Apparently on Stoney and Janice with Heather, Worthy admonished the way current NBA players play and act. He said that players entering the NBA today are, are not fundamentally sound then ridicule them because of all they do in his eyes are practice threes, lift weights, get tattoos, tweet, and oh uh, yeah, you learn how to balance your freaking checkbook in college. There's a lot of things. When you don't get that, guys are coming to the NBA who are not fundamentally sound all they do is practice threes, lift weights, get tattoos, tweet, and go on social media. That's it, Worthy said. So, you don't have that sound player. You have an athletic player. And that's what happens to the game. It's a lot of ISO and looking for mismatches. Now, I have to agree with what he's saying. He is totally telling the truth about that see the players in the 80s and 70s they would go to school for four years and they would get taught by the best coaches in the game and by the time they get to the NBA they're pretty much fundamentally sound they don't travel as much they, they know how to dribble uh, they, they can shoot the ball that's how it was and, and if you want to critique this think about in the 80s they had the highest scoring ever in the 80s they were scoring like 130 140 points so kevin durant which he acts like a female he's raised with his mom kisses his mom on his mouth all the time as a grown man but i'm not judging anyway kevin durant took note of those comments he went on twitter and responded to someone asking him for his thoughts and said that while he was pretty confident in his mid game, he admit that Worthy was right about how things used to be. My biddy is sharp, but James is right. This ain't the old days, lol. Now James Worthy won three NBA titles and made seven All Star game players um, playing small forward with the Lakers for 12 years. Who knows? Who knows if Worthy would have found the same success in the NBA with the way the game is played today though. Kevin Durant certainly seems to miss those. So I believe that uh, James Worthy is correct on it, but how can you not? This is where the game is going. If you want to blame somebody, you have to blame Steph Curry. He changed the game. Steph Curry changed the game and now everybody want to see threes, but I think their ticket sales suffer in the regular season because they're shooting 53s a game and really nobody want to see that. If you want to look at players, people want to see dunks 
I think, more than three-pointers. I mean, we do like watching Steph Curry play, and that's cool. But I think we'd like to see the fundamental game uh, playing chess. You know, the, the pick and rolls and the plays are being made. And and then in the fourth quarter, you got to dominate. You got We need that player to dominate the game. And that's what we want to see in the NBA. Now, like I said, I could be old school, and you can tell me that, you know, I'm the get-off-my-lawn guy, and I don't want it changed because when I was a teenager, I got a chance to see Michael Jordan um, play and a lot of the other good players. But I digress. What do you think about James Worthy's comments right here? Do you agree, disagree? And um, I'll see you on the next video.